It's day 51 and I'm uh, leaving uh, Damascus. Uh, yeah, I took a zero here. I needed to resupply, got myself uh, some new shoes, which feel great. So hopefully that's going to uh, make me feel better at the end of a long day of walking. And uh, yeah, it looks like I've got uh, a couple of days of uh, nice weather ahead. But um, after that, it looks like there's several days, four or five or six days, straight days of uh, rain. So yeah, I'm uh, leaving Damascus. I'll be uh, heading up into the mountains here in about another half mile of walking down this highway uh, and uh, back on the trail. Let's see, it's uh, 10 minutes after two. I've been uh, hiking for, uh, I guess about five hours uh, today. And uh, I, uh, I think I've got about six miles to go before I get to Lost Mountain where I plan on uh, pitching my tent uh, tonight. So uh, yeah, my new shoes, uh, my feet have been feeling uh, uh, pretty good actually. Uh, and um, really the only issue today has just been uh, the heat. I've been uh, sweating quite a bit because uh, it's been uh, kind of warm. But the trail hasn't been too bad, so um, I've made a fairly decent time. Uh, so uh, I should be getting, um, getting uh, to uh, Lost Mountain probably uh, within the next three hours. And uh, which should give me plenty of time to set up my tent and relax a little bit and fix my dinner and hopefully have a good night's sleep. Well, I made it to the uh, Lost Mountain uh, campsite. Oops, as you can see here, you, I put some uh, calamine lotion on my little poison ivy uh, patches on my, my arm. Uh, hopefully that's going to uh, uh, minimize uh, the impact of that uh, poison ivy and, and hopefully it won't be spreading. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I made it to uh, uh, Lost Mountain. I've, as you can see, I've pitched my tent and I've already turned in for the evening. I want to get an early start um, because uh, the the uh, campsites are, uh, I, I guess, a little more tightly controlled uh, the next few miles. I'm, I'm not sure why, maybe because of bears or whatever. But uh, I think um, for the next... Uh, Oh, uh, a few miles that's going to be uh, shelter only. I, I normally, uh, in fact, the only time I've stayed in shelters, I believe, is uh, when I was in the Smokies when, uh, when that's uh, required. Uh, so, and I, and I think uh, for the next, um, I don't know, 50 miles or so, uh, the, um, it's going to be a mandatory shelter camping. So, um, uh, but, but not tonight. I'm in my tent tonight. Uh, and, uh, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll have to, uh, uh, see how it goes. Read on Far Out, because I, I, it, somebody was just telling me that, and I, I don't recall reading that, uh, in Far Out, but, uh, it's, it's probably true. Uh, so, um, yeah, this might be, uh, my last night in my tent for, uh, the next, uh, couple of nights anyway. So, yeah, and I want to get an early start in the morning because, uh, I want to get through this, that area as quickly as I can. So, uh, I'm, I, I'm wanting to do, I think close to 18 miles, 17, 18 miles tomorrow to get to, uh, that shelter. And, uh, if I do that, I, I believe I'll be passing the 500 mile mark to, uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. So, uh, this is how, uh, day 51 has come to an end and, uh, we'll see what happens, uh, in the coming days. Well, this is, uh, 
day 52 and I'm waking up to the sound of uh, some different uh, birds. I'm hearing uh, a little bit different song this morning, so that's interesting. So yeah, it's still a bit early, but I think I'm gonna try to get an early start today. Yeah, I'm getting out uh, kind of early today. Today, day 52, uh, fairly early start. One of the problems about being uh, the first one uh, on the trail each morning is that you're the one that uh, clears the way of uh, spider webs. You gotta watch out because early in the morning there's uh, a lot of spider webs that uh, go across the trail and smack you in the face if you're not uh, paying attention. I tend to use my trekking poles to clear them out before they hit me in the face if I can. So yeah, day 52, uh, I'm wanting to do um, either 17 or 18 miles away a uh, campsite because um, I'm entering uh, an area where they um, do not allow you to pitch your tent. Um, you have to stay in the shelters and um, there's only one actual shelter in this area. So I'm kind of screwed if I don't uh, get there in time before other hikers get there. I should beat most, most of the people that were at the campsite I was at last night because I'm leaving uh, a bit earlier. Um, but there's some places between here and there where people may have in fact already left from those sites. So I don't know how many of those people there are. So uh, uh, if I can, I'd like to get there um, early enough to ensure that I, I can actually stay there. Um, otherwise, uh, just, uh, I think it's uh, only a 12 or 13 mile hike to uh, another campsite that's just before I enter that area. If I'm uh, not feeling like doing the extra five or six miles, uh, I can stay there tonight if I want to, but uh, today, I, well, I didn't get any reception last night, so I couldn't get the latest reports, but uh, the last time I saw a weather report, uh, rain is due to start uh, to come tomorrow. I should be okay today, but it should start tomorrow and go for several days actually, so I'd like to get in as many miles today as I can. Well, I've uh, left the woods uh, temporarily in this little pasture and I seem to be uh, sharing the trail with some uh, cows. So uh, the important thing right now is to watch where I step. So yeah, so far so good today. I've been hiking maybe a little more than an hour. Well, this is the uh, morning of day 53. I uh, cut it short a little bit yesterday because the uh, rain that wasn't supposed to start until this morning actually started yesterday afternoon. So uh, I stopped a little bit early at uh, Thomas Knobs shelter. So I'm gonna have an extra five miles to do today to, to make up for that. But um, it kept me dry yesterday anyway. It's supposed to be raining now, although it's not right, right now, but uh, it's supposed to be raining now for the next uh, four days so I'm uh, I'm gonna be wet that's for sure um, and unfortunately as you can see uh, I'm heading into the Grayson Highlands and uh, they're uh, known for their ponies so I'll we'll almost certainly see some ponies today but um, wild ponies uh, and so I won't be riding any of them <laughs> um, 
but uh, also it's supposed to have some great views but uh, as you can uh, see it's uh even though it's not raining right now the fog is very heavy so um, yeah I'm afraid that uh, I won't be having the great Grayson Highland views that uh, it's known for Today has been a pretty good day. Uh, it was supposed to have been raining all day, but the rain for the most part has held off and I just left an amazing trail magic. Uh, the good news and the bad news for that is that it was indeed an amazing uh, trail magic. Uh, the bad news is that uh, I ended up being there over an hour, almost an hour and a half. Um, because it was so good and there were lots of people there uh, having lots of fun and um, yeah the food they had uh, supposedly they had been there since morning and serving some breakfast but by the time I got there it was lunchtime and they had uh, this uh, pulled pork uh, with um, uh, green peppers and, and onions and bar you know barbecue uh, the whole nine yards and lots of little miscellaneous snacks and uh, all kinds of drinks uh, literally all kinds of drinks uh, and everybody was there just having a, a great time I ate uh, way too much of course uh, but I'm back on the trail now you know an hour and a half later <laughs> and uh, but the weather is, is you know the rain is still uh, for the most part not been here so it's it's been uh, uh, Pretty decent days of hiking. Um, the uh, Grayson Highlands, I'm, I'm through the Grayson Highlands now. Saw lots of ponies. And, um, but uh, actually the trail was uh, a lot more uh, uh, rocky. I did a lot of boulder hopping. Uh, they use that term boulder hopping. Uh, that's what the young people do. Uh, for me, it's, it's uh, boulder uh, climbing up and down and a little bit treacherous so uh, it um, makes things kind of difficult uh, when the trails like that um, and even now there's uh, I'm, as you can see I'm climbing over lots of roots and and rocks so it's uh, not not exactly uh, a red carpet treatment for me but uh, still the trail has been pretty nice no severe ups and downs which makes a big difference uh, I mean, it's always, you're always either going up or you're going down, but it just depends upon how steep the grade is. And so far today, the grade 
of both ups and downs has not been too demanding. Whenever it's gotten extremely steep, up or down, it hasn't lasted for very long. So, um, yeah, today's uh, been a good day. What is this day? 53, I think. So, uh, I'm heading to, uh, although I'm uh, uh, an hour and a half behind schedule uh, because of that uh, trail magic, I'm heading to um, Hurricane Mountain uh, where I hope to spend the night tonight. I'll, I have a couple of pretty decent climbs before I get there, but I don't think it's gonna, anything that's gonna be too severe. That second one looks like it might be kind of steep, um, but we'll see, but it won't be for very long. No more than, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half of uh, steep climb up. We'll see. So yeah, that's how things are going so far on day uh, 53. Well, this is uh, day 54, and um, I've, I've already been hiking for uh, almost two hours now. But um, yeah, uh, also uh, uh, number one, uh, yeah, yesterday was a good day uh, for the most part in terms of a, a hiking day. Uh, and uh, I'm expecting to do another long day today. And the rain is still holding off for the most part. A uh, little rain uh, uh, this morning, but it's, uh, right now it's not raining. On that, um, I think this is called Comer Falls, uh, is where I decided to stop and do my, uh, start my, uh, today's vlog. But, um, yeah, uh, I got some, uh, a little bit disturbing news, uh, yesterday, and, uh, it might be something that, uh, could end up, uh, ending my fight. Um, and, uh, so, uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with the trail at all. It has uh, to do with stuff at home. Uh, uh, the situation is, um, my home I'm, I'm actually leasing. And uh, my lease is up in September. And it looks like I may not be able to renew my lease in September. And I'm not sure if I could even complete uh, my hike by, by September. But even if I could, uh, I'm, I, um, if, if it turns out that I'm going to need to uh, relocate, uh, I'm going to, you know, have to uh, get back and start making those arrangements uh, uh, a lot sooner. And so, uh, if it turns out that I am going to be um, having to move, then uh, I'm going to have to terminate my uh, hike. Yeah, well, uh, uh, on a more positive note, uh, uh, yesterday I actually crossed the 500 mile mark. Uh, I think I'm somewhere around 520 right now. Uh, so yeah, I have been making progress. And uh, as far as this situation uh, with my lease at home and whether or not I'm gonna be able to stay on the trail, uh, I, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, communicate uh, with uh, the woman that uh, owns the house I'm in and uh, so see exactly what, uh, what the situation is. The uh, email that I got from her yesterday was kind of ambiguous, but, uh, not really that ambiguous uh so um but anyway i'm going to uh see if i can uh, get in touch with her and uh maybe do some sort of negotiations uh and resolve the issue uh so it's not uh the uh the trail's not a done deal for me yet but uh it's not looking good so uh we'll see what happens well i'm uh, obviously not on the trail right now uh i've had to get off to take care of uh my business uh, at home uh, and I'm at the Atlanta airport now uh, heading home uh, not really sure how everything is going to work out uh, but um, it looks like things are working out working out pretty well and there actually is a possibility that I could maybe even get back on the trail uh, and uh, so I'm just gonna have to see how things work out and uh, so all I can say is uh, stay tuned and we'll see how all of this works out. 